したことももちろん全く、えー、ありません。So I never bet on baseball or any other sports. More breaking news. Dodgers superstar Shohei Otani speaking publicly for the first time since his interpreter's gambling scandal rocked the baseball world. It's a sports betting scandal heard all around the world. Otani finally breaking his silence after his interpreter allegedly stole millions of dollars from him. KCAL sports anchor Jim Hill live now with more from Otani's news conference. Jim, so what did he have to say? Okay, thank you very much. As we all know, this has been a very, very important day and a very controversial day as far as Major League Baseball, the Dodgers, and Shohei Otani is concerned. As Otani has、uh, admitted that he was, as、uh, some people have said, ripped off, but he has been taken for a lot of money. And of course, earlier today, there was a press conference to talk about that very thing. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports, or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf.、Uh, and I have never、uh, went through a bookmaker、uh, to bet on sports. In conclusion,、uh, Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. With me now is Dodger radio announcer David Vasse. And David, let's just talk about. What your opinion was and is of what Otani had to say? Well, number one, Jim, for all those in the media, locally, nationally, that say they know Otani, none of us really know Otani. So today was the first time we got a glimpse into some of his feelings. Obviously, not the ideal circumstances, but he wanted his thoughts well mapped out because this is an emotional thing for him. He and his interpreter, Ipe, were inseparable ever since he came to Major League Baseball. He was more Than an interpreter.、Uh, it's been described as a brotherhood between Otani and Ipe. And I feel like he conveyed those feelings in a measured way of being betrayed, as he said. Is this another example of a wealthy athlete getting ripped off by a loved one, a trusted one? It seems that way, according to Otani's side of the story. And there's no reason not to believe him at this point. And it seems sincere. He just wanted to organize his thoughts. But for Otani, it feels like his sole purpose was baseball. That's all we've heard. Baseball 24 7, whether it's、uh, a purpose to sleep, to train, everything was surrounding baseball. Maybe now this will make him reevaluate that he has to worry about things like this happening and he can't just have a sole purpose of baseball 24 7. He's a very sensitive individual. How is this going to re-、uh, really affect him now? Well, he has an incredible way of compartmentalizing things. Seeing him yesterday, talking to his former teammates, you would never know anything was going on like this in his life. So he's a very focused guy. He can't be this great without being able to compartmentalize things. So I feel like, as we've seen other great athletes do, he will keep this in one section of his life and not let it affect his baseball performance. And talking to members of、uh, the Dodgers, they say they are going to stay behind him.、One 100%. Reporting live from Chavez Ravine, I'm Jim Hill. Back to you in the studio now. Jim, thank you so much. You see the team just warming up behind him there. As Shohei Otani was speaking for the first time about the scandal, baseball fans were hanging on to his every word. KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely continues our live team coverage at a sports bar in Anaheim, Michelle, not too far from where Otani we know used to play for the Angels. Well, you could have heard a pin drop here, Leslie, inside of Lopez and Lefties behind me here during this news conference. One Dodger fan who was watching from inside says that he still cannot get past the financial part of all of this. He wonders how it was that this interpreter had access to the superstar's money. At Lopez and Lefty Sports Bar, a mile from Angel Stadium, the Monday afternoon crowd was focused on what former Anaheim player and new Dodgers star Shohei Otani had to say. You know, I'm a diehard Dodger fan. I mean, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I think we all should, but, you know, how do you. How do you let someone get access to your account? That's my biggest thing. I mean, his, his reactions were very、uh, closed off as far as not giving too much clues. I mean, he was definitely reading from a card, but 
I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, he didn't seem angry. He didn't seem bothered. I think he's still distraught on what exactly happened. That's a large amount of money. It's the first time Otani has talked to reporters since the scandal broke involving his former interpreter and friend. Ipe Mizuhara is accused of illegal gambling and stealing millions from the Dodger player to repay debts to an Orange County bookie. I thought that he really didn't know what he was getting himself or what the interpreter was actually doing behind him. It didn't seem right, and then Otani was, as he said, he well, as I said, he was telling the truth about it. Baseball fans like Victor Vasquez, who sold programs at Dodger Stadium in the 80s, is looking forward to the whole truth coming out. Pete Rose, you know, got kicked out for, for gambling. You know, I hope this is not a Pete Rose situation because we just got him, and you know, I I can't believe that the Dodgers didn't even do some kind of background. Prior to investing all this money and to bring him over. Sports betting is illegal in California unless it's horse racing or gambling on tribal land. Psychologist Lee Richardson is a brain specialist who treats people with addictions. Anytime that brain does something and it really enjoys it, oh, I like that. Well, the brain starts to kick out this neurotransmitter called dopamine. And dopamine is a really feel-good neurotransmitter. So it goes from, oh, I like that, to, oh, I want to do that. I want that. And then it gets to, I need it. I need to do that. I need it. And that's where we get into trouble. Now, Shohei Otani told reporters today that he didn't know that his former interpreter had what he called a gambling addiction until a couple of days ago. I'm live in Anaheim. Leslie, back to you. Michelle Geely, thank you.